How are you guys doing today and welcome back to Book of Hebrew and today we are to talk about how Clay Thompson almost ruined his career. But before we talk about that, make sure you check out Book of Hebrew YouTube page. Before becoming a five-time NBA All-Star and three-time NBA champion, he was a star at Washington State University. While playing for Washington State Cougars, he almost ruined his career in college. Clay Thompson was born in Los Angeles, California on February 8, 1990. He's the son of Julie and Michael Thompson. At a young age, he was exposed to a lot of sports. The Thompsons are an athletically gifted family. His mother, Julie, was a former volleyball player for the University of Portland and University of San Francisco. His father, Michael Thompson, was a longtime NBA player and was the first overall pick in the 1978 NBA draft. His two brothers are also professional athletes. Younger brother Trace is a MLB player who is currently playing for Arizona Diamondbacks. Older brother Michael was also a former NBA player. Clay Thompson went to Santa Margarita Catholic School. According to Scout.com, a sports publishing company, he averaged 21 points in his senior year. He led his high school team to a 30-5 record and made it to the Division III state championship. He scored 37 points and beat Sacramento High School. He was named Division III State Player of the Year, Most Valuable Player, and EA Sports Second Team All-American. Unfortunately, he wasn't invited to the McDonald's All-American game. It is where the best and most highly recruited high school athletes participate in an all-star game. After graduating from high school, he received a scholarship to play for Washington State University. As a freshman, he averaged 12.5 points and 4.2 rebounds per game. He was also named Pac-10 All-Freshman Team, an award for impressive freshmen in the Pacific 10 Conference. As a sophomore, Clay averaged 19.6 points and 5.1 rebounds per game. In the 2009-2010 season, he was one of the John R. Wooden midseason top 30 candidates. It is basically the nation's top and best players in college basketball. Clay improved his skills and seemingly his stats every year. In his junior year, he averaged 21.6 points and 5.2 rebounds per game. He led the Pac-10 Conference in scoring. He also been named All-Pac-10 First Team. He set the record for most three-pointers in one game in Pac-10 tournament, but it was recently broken by Alfonso Plummer. Klay Thompson had eight three-pointers and Alfonso Plummer had 11. He is the third all-time leading scorer in Washington State Badgers history. Sadly, right before his last season game against UCLA, he was arrested because of possession of marijuana. Clay Thompson was suspended for the game against UCLA Bruins. The Washington State Badgers were trying to make the last push for the NCAA tournament, also known as March Madness. In his tenure in Washington State, Clay Thompson never led his team to the March Madness. So it was a blow for Washington State Badgers because it was a slim chance to make it to the national tournament, especially when Clay Thompson is unable to play. His father, Michael Thompson, mentioned in Seattle Times, a newspaper in Seattle, I told him I was extremely disappointed in him. He let the team down, he let the school down, and he let himself and family down. Luckily, he was only suspended for one game in his college career. For some athletes, they receive different fates when it comes to drug use. The NBA has an anti-drug program where athletes are prohibited from any drug use such as marijuana or other recreational drugs. Tyreek Evans and OJ Mayo were both suspended for two years because of drug abuse. Neither Evans nor Mayo returned to the NBA after the suspension. Klay Thompson almost fell victim to a career ruin in the basketball community due to drug use. Good for him because he was able to bounce back and learn from his lesson.